What's up guys? Today I am um, in the middle of installing some uh, Black Oak uh, flush mounted light pods. This is uh, in their diffused pattern. Um, I'm putting them in the back of my bumper to use as uh, some extra light when backing up. So what I want to do today is I'm going to compare the uh, beam pattern between the diffused uh, lights here and then Black Oak's flood uh, that I have mounted to the front of my truck, kind of as ditch lights. So um, I'll show you some screenshots here in a minute, and I'll break down the uh, the beam angle, if you will, um, kind of so that gives you a better idea on if you're buying these, what you want, kind of see how uh, both of them work. So this is more or less the same exact um, body as the flood lights that I have already. There is a different face, um, so this pops off and it's just a smaller ring on the other model um, and obviously the lens is different um, here it's like this bubble wrap kind of pattern that's what diffused is and the other ones obviously completely see-through you can see the LEDs it additionally does not have the bracket down here that would normally go in this hole uh, to mount on the front of a bull bar or uh, you know up on top of you know various mounts and stuff like that so all right we'll get into it so right now we are looking at the flood pattern. As you can see, there is uh, quite a bright spot in the middle. I um, wasn't really expecting a hot spot in the flood pattern. I know that some companies do make like a uh, combo beam uh, where they'll have a general flood with kind of like a spotlight in the middle. Um, however, this is just labeled as Black Oak's flood pattern. So we are currently, um, as the light sits, it's nine feet away from the wall. So we took our measurements, um, nine feet away from the wall. The flood pattern um, overall was 11.5 feet wide. And the uh, bright spot in the middle of the hot spot was about two feet wide. So if you do the math, um, I'll show you right here. The flood pattern is about 65 degrees and the hot spot is about 13 degrees. Um, I guess it's pretty good. I wasn't really... Um, expecting anything specific. Um, nothing really was on their websites as to uh, what these angles uh, claim to be. But next we'll turn over to the <clears throat> diffuse light and we'll see what that looks like. So looking at the diffuse, you can immediately see that um, instead of being a very nice round pattern, it's kind of like this star uh, shape against the wall. Uh, we have the camera positioned in the same spot. Um, nine feet away from the wall. Um, the beam pattern overall ends up being about 14 feet wide and um, that results in an angle about 75 degrees. So um, about 10 degrees more from the flood which is um, you know good that it's actually um, a greater angle than the flood um, kinda does what it, they claim to do kinda what they want you to use it for. Um, the beam pattern has a pretty consistent um, light throughout all the way to its edges and it clearly doesn't have the hot spot in the middle like the flood pattern. Looking at the two lights side by side, um, you know, the differences become pretty clear. The diffuse, uh, very consistent um, light throughout, very consistent um, brightness, if you will. Um, the angle is, you know, somewhat greater. Um, I would say it's pretty, it's significant, um, significantly wider than the flood pattern. The flood pattern, of course, on the lower right. Um, a little disappointing on uh, its brightness, at least how it looks compared to the diffused. Um, I don't know if that's just the camera, you know, doing some weird things or not, but the flood obviously has that bright spot in the middle. Um, could be useful, um, you know, as a forward driving light or you know possibly as a ditch light like I have it set up um, you can tell it's kinda kinda got a cleaner circle not really that that should matter for anything um, and uh, the angle is obviously slightly smaller so again maybe like a forward uh, light that kinda something a little bit more concentrated that'll help you uh, the diffused also um, using that as a backup light or um, they do also kinda try to market it as like a work light because it's got a wide beam pattern, kind of a, they say softer light, but I don't really think it looked any softer. Um, maybe it'll kind of not be as so in your face because there's some, uh, that diffusion happening at the lens. 
but um, I could definitely see it being useful for um, putting the back of a bumper, the back of a truck, and you know, using that, you know, hooking up a hitch in the dark, um, you know, doing some sort of vehicle recovery at night kind of thing. So, so far, um, it looks good, and let's go see what it actually looks like um, out in the real world. Okay, so we're out here. Um, I got just the uh, floodlights on. I do have them angled out, um, kind of maybe like 30 degrees out um, from forward. And as you can see, the flood pattern uh, works pretty well. Um, doesn't have a super, super long throw, but got a pretty good dispersion and uh, it's nice and bright. Definitely good for uh, some forward facing lights. I'm gonna go to the back. Alright, so I got two diffused pods back here, like I said before, that are flush mounted to the bumper. Just got them finished up the other day. And I um, think definitely adequate for uh, for backup lights. Like, I know, you know, we said um, 75 degrees, but if you look next to the truck here, you know, it's that effusion is working really well. I don't know if it's just bouncing off the snow or not, but I'm getting light. Um, you know, basically perpendicular, you know, parallel with the bumper, excuse me. Um, so almost 90 degrees of light. Um, I got plenty of light to, uh, you know, work, work on something on the hitch. Um, you know, doing a vehicle recovery or just backing up in general, you know, got a pretty good throw all around. Uh, you know, I could probably see you know, probably 50 meters or so, uh, pretty decently. So they're definitely great. Um, I think they're definitely uh, the right choice for backup lights. Um, that is picking diffused over uh, flood. But floods are also great. Uh, they just have their own purpose. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.